Hi everybody. We're here. Well, Lindsay and I are here. What? Lindsay's talking away to me. Yeah. She's got questions. Hi, Becky. Hi, Rona. Well, from Israel. Hello from Kentucky. Lindsay says hi to everybody. Hi, Angela. Wow, you guys are coming in fast today. Hi, Lindsay. Becky says hi. hi. Good morning, Teresa. Hello, trailer time from Austin. Hi, Stephanie from New England. And Alicia made it. And Gwen's here. Hi, BJ. 7481. Is it really July 4th, 81? Is that really your birthday? So, I took... Lindsay's handing me old gold. You want to see what it is? It's beautiful. Hi, Jill. How are you today? Can you see it? Lindsay just handed this thread to me. Couldn't wait that you would start, dear. Aw, I'm here, Becky. I made it. A little flustered, but I'm here. Oh, okay. I just wondered. Just curious. That's all, BJ. Her birthday is not 7481. What did you want with old gold? Oh, so I took... Some of the leftover mustard color that you used from your lion's quilt mm -hmm. to do the handles. On the, I'm going to make one of Annie's lunch bags. I saw that. You need to talk up so other people can hear what oh, you're doing. Lindsay took one of my me. patterns. When huh? I listen to the playback, I'm usually very loud. My voice projects, so I'm trying oh. not to be. She, hi, crusty old man beard. I like wince. Hi, Trusty. Trusty made it again. Hi, Karen. Hi, Deb. Wince when I hear myself being Hello, so Barbara. Hi, Mom. Grandma's here. Hey, Graham. Um, so I need a coordinating thread to do the handles because I was gonna make I was gonna use the mustard with the otter fabric. Mm-hmm. But I took like a blue thread and I can't use that. Mm -mm. Uh, I want something coordinated because it's my first time making handles. Oh. But you don't. Hi, that, Gail. That's kind of brown. Rather than, hi Marsha, hi Cindy. <laughs> this is um this it, thread is called old gold, and it really is a very very pretty thread. Lindsay's checking it out for a project that she's got going. Maybe if I put it, can you see it in front of my shirt? Probably not. But anyhow, so Lindsay's looking at threads. If I have a smaller thing, take that home to check you, it. You don't. Okay. All right. I look. I thought you had a mustard. Would you forget, Becky? I didn't, I didn't see I'm it. right here. Hi, Grandma. What other color could I use? I don't know. I'd have to see the fabric. It's the you made a quilt with it. Okay, go grab the quilt. Isn't it in the house? The lion's your lion's quilt. Yep. Go grab the quilt because I need to see it with it. It yeah. is pretty thread, Trusty. It's very pretty. Alicia, wasn't that knit blanket gorgeous? Grandma says, hi, Lindsay. Hey, Graham. Hi, Libby. Boone was almost named Libby. If Boone had been a girl, he would have been Libby. But he's a boy, so he's Boone. But he could have been Horace, too. But we like Boone. So everybody's here. Oh, boy. I hope my health is still alive because it's like circling on me. I forgot to salute the bunch. I salute you and Lindsay and Gran. Oh, I, I wasn't sure what was going on there. What do you want to make, Alicia? I love Boone, too. Mm, me, mm. too. Mine, too. I'm trying to follow conversations backwards. Marsha said, mine, too. Hmm. What does that... Hi from Marsha. Okay, well, I lost it, but... That's all right. We'll catch up again. Kathy says, hi, everybody. Oh, thank you, Lady Kopak. Everybody do a thumbs up, please. We do all love Boone. He just is the cutest thing around. He learned how to climb up on oh. top of the coffee table without a, a stepping stone today. 
for yesterday. Boone learned how to climb up on the coffee table without a step. He did that one yesterday. He's walking all over the place. I know, Alicia, those knit blankets are just gorgeous. If oh, you go back Gales. through the feed, you'll see Gail had posted pictures if in the... search in the, Gail's name, it'll probably be easier to see it. But her... Oh, yeah. Search the Gail's name. The blankets she makes are amazing. They're so gorgeous. And they coordinate so perfectly mm -hmm. with the quilts. They're just beautiful. Hi, Bruce from California. I got bit by a bee yesterday, and it, it's still, oh, it itches and was all it kinds it? of things. And then I was making my mother's homemade mac and cheese recipe. We put um, tomatoes in it, and I and I sprayed tomatoes on my white shirt. I love grandma's mac and cheese. Well, good because we're having that for dinner. Yay! Yes. Yeah, I know, Alicia. I don't know how she does everything that she does. Hello from Florida. Hi, Suzanne. She does a lot. Hmm. Out. Everybody seems to be doing really good today. So everybody knows the um, kits for the catch-all caddy. These, this is the, um, I think these two, I can't remember if these two are side pieces or pocket. They must be pocket pieces because they got bindings on them. Um, What'd you do, an overcast stitch? No. Um, so... These kits are going out tomorrow. No, Tracy's not here. I'm sorry, Tracy. I do love this shirt. We are having an absolutely gorgeous weather day here again. I want to show you guys what I did on this. You'll see it on the tutorial. But can you guys see the little stitching across the top? Is that the honeycomb? Yes, it's number eight I on like, my machine. I like the honeycomb. It's nice with a variegated, too. Yeah, it is nice with a variegated. I hope you guys can see it. Well, one of the, you might be able to see it better on this side. One of the little tricks, I'm going to move so I can get up to the camera next to it so you can see it. There, now you can see it. See that little stitch that I did? That's one of my little cheaters. Look at how pretty it looks on this side. Doesn't it look great? Just real simple, real pretty. Well, whenever I'm top stitching binding like this where it's looped over, what I like to do is, oh boy, I hope you can see it. Oh, you can't tell that it's uneven. Right. You get Because it's always uneven. You can't bit. tell that if it's not perfectly even. <clears throat> and the other thing that happens is, on the back side, if you don't catch it perfectly, it never shows. And it holds it down, so you only have to stitch it once. So that little tidbit is coming up on my next tutorial. But I love to do that. And then um, when I make, every once in a while, when I make a quilt for my grandkids and I don't have time to hand stitch the binding down, I'll do a decorative stitch like this. It really looks cute, catches the binding all the way around and we're good. So Alicia's working with three kids, doing the quilt for me and my husband for our Christmas present to ourselves. Whoa. Oh, neat. Sorry about that. Oh, cool. Lindsay's playing me in the background. I'm trying to get into the chat. Oh, she's coming into the chat so she can catch up with questions for me. So. That's coming up in the next tutorial. I think it's really cute. I was so excited about that. So the um, catch-all caddy is moving down. Here's my, if you didn't see them, here's my handles for it. This bag is just going to be so cute. I, I'm, I'm, my best friend wants it, so I have a feeling I'm going to have to give it away. Yeah, you can't tell Susie no. I, I just can't tell my best friend no. So I think that's where it's going. You'll but probably end up with it back someday. Someday she'll give it back. Yeah, to she, yeah. Li she likes to get so, things and then give them away. Yep. So I think what she's going to use it for, her husband owns a um, car dealership. So she's always got a company car. And every once in a while they sell it on her. Like when we went to Kentucky, we took my vehicle because they sold her vehicle on her. She's going to leave it in the car and it will have her lipstick and her through way pass and all that stuff in it. So here we go. That's what she's going to be doing. Becky's my new best friend. 
can you still show the stitch on your, you know, where there's a picture of the stitch? Um, um, how do we do that? I mean, we can take a picture on your phone and show it to him, but to maneuver. Okay, because you have my the table phone. and stuff. So. Yeah, I can't. But I can't the show. The machine's pretty stationary. Yeah, the computer <laughs> where I film from is pretty stationary. It's the computer. I haven't figured out how to do it otherwise. I'm not that. I'm pretty technically challenged. There's Lindsay. Say good morning. Oh, it's afternoon. It is afternoon. So on my Bernina, which is the 165, it's stitch number eight. And Lindsay's going to take a picture of it, and she'll post it in our Facebook group so that you can see it. So that'll be good. Um, let's see. Hey, Lindsay. We got Tucker out here with us today, too. Go away, Tuck. Tuck's here. So just remember me on the next giveaway. Okay, we will. I, I want you guys to pay really close attention over the next week, I would say, because I wouldn't be surprised if either from my newsletter or from my YouTube channel or from my Facebook group, if a, um, or not, then guess what? Um, the... Someplace on one of those, I have a feeling there's going to be a giveaway. I missed, I was trying to catch up with messages. Just remember me on the next giveaway. No problem, Alicia. See, you look cute on camera. That I'm sure was for Lindsay. What? Seven. <laughs> have you ever been passed up or not noticed? Um, Vicki, what do you mean? I'm not sure I follow you. Becky, I love my dog too. He's laying right here next to me. He's been really close to me lately. He has, um, seizures. And he's been having quite a few again. He's he's medicated, but he's been having quite a few. So he tends to stick pretty close to me when he has them. Yes, sh shy, shy, shy. <laughs> she really isn't shy in person. She just shy on the camera. She just he hasn't gotten there yet. I keep hey, figuring we're going to... Um, Wait till you come to the retreat. You're going to be like, whoa. Yeah, wait, Lindsay go. yeah, wait till you come to the retreat I'm and see what she's action. really like. I'm yeah, just, yep. video, we're it? still working on the retreat, so the information will be coming, but we are definitely still working on the on that. The mar the meds do work pretty good, Trusty. They just um, you know, he still has them while he's on them, but if he wasn't on those, then he'd have them all the time. Hi, Alicia. Alicia says she says she completely understands. She doesn't like being on camera either. <laughs> Guys, I don't like being on camera. Just, I don't like people taking pictures of me. I'm only good in live. Hi, Nancy Rinkers. How are ya? She made it. I hope you can come to Alicia. I really do. I hope. Um, there is some. Big news coming out. Well, I already told you guys about it, but I think next week is Quilt Market, and I'm not going to Quilt Market. But, um, oh, Marsha, yeah, you don't normally. We're doing good here, Nancy. We don't normally see you. I'm glad you made it. Hi, Marlene. So next week, I think, is Quilt Market. From what I'm seeing on Instagram, I think it's coming up next week. I'm not going this year, which is just fine. But shortly after that, I'm going to be able to show you guys the um, two quilts that I designed for um, for um, P and B, and I'm really excited about it. Tressy, we haven't settled on a name yet. It just doesn't seem we keep trying to come up with one that is like universally accepted throughout the family but we haven't come up with one yet so we're still working on it so far it just keeps being called the land that's that's what it keeps everybody keeps calling it we're actually going um everybody's coming here for dinner because all the guys are over on the land right now so i think that's going to be pretty exciting oh lindsay's coming with except more thrust he's at home with the baby Thanks, oh except Dave. for derek he's home with boone so that lindsay could come 
Yeah, now she's grabbing barley sugar. It's the other one she's called. I think grabbing. maybe that one or this variegated one might be better. I this one's too brown. Barley sugar is really pretty. Well, and this not... one is pyramids, and that one's really pretty. That one's got gold, but it's also got some brownie greens in it. So it's a pretty one, too. Everybody's coming here for dinner. How about quilt land? I know Rona, but nobody over there quilts. No. Hi from Southern California. Hi, Catherine. We just haven't figured it out yet. But I did get to go out there the other night. Except for it scared the living bejesus out of me because we went out there. Hi, Grateful. It's okay that you're late. We're here. Um, we went out the other night because um, my husband had something that he needed to do out there quick like. So we ran out there. And we got out there, and no sooner did we get there, and it started downpouring. But the thing that scared us the most was the wind picked up like you would not believe. So here we are, out in the middle of the woods, in the um, side-by-side, -side, and um, it didn't, uh, we were scared. We were, wor oh, I was scared. We were worried about a tree. So... <laughs> So, to see the two quilts you made. Which two quilts, Tressie? Because we keep, oh, the designed ones. I know. I'm oh, getting so excited pretty. to show you guys. They really, really are pretty. And one of the two of them will be one of our quilts of the quarter next year. We'll probably do it in the July, July, August, and September will probably be, I think. Susie, yeah, we've looked into changing his diet. We've done a whole bunch of different things and nothing seems to work. We keep trying. So, you know, it just, yeah. I can't wait to show you guys, Nancy. I just think they are going to be really, really, really cool to show. I, I'm really excited. So as soon as quilt market happens, I believe that's when I can start showing it. And um, make sure that if you aren't going to be able to buy a kit from me, make sure you tell your local quilt shop about it so that they can get a kit, okay? Or so that they can get the fabric. Yeah. Do you get to keep those quilts yourself? They actually, at this stage, Kathy, are just designed on paper. They haven't been made yet. So I will have an opportunity to make them. Yep. So, and they will be mine. But I'll be buying the fabric so I can do them. I just can't not do them. If it's going to be, you know, published through them, I want to. I want to have them. I just think that's something that I really want to do. So, yeah. So that's what's going on there. It's, I'm really excited about it too, guys. I am just thrilled to pieces. I just can't believe that it really is happening. So this week, I what am I doing this week? This week on my calendar is finishing up the catch-all caddy and then um, Olivia's quilt. I'm going back to Olivia's quilt to get that one going. And Lindsay has, we gave Lindsay a project the other day. Lindsay's been working away on a quilt that we're going to be doing with um the tulip pink fat quarter bundles yes i'm excited it's yeah be cool it's really cool Lindsay and um Lindsay started it when did you start it i started it um, two days ago a couple days Friday. ago she's got all of the blocks done I, um i brought the sample oh she brought a sample block with her so well, you can it's see it um i did see Leah Day on um, YouTube over her mini quilts. Leah and I were emailing back and forth last week because you guys know it, but um, a whole lot of other people don't know it. Leah and I have a collaboration that's coming up together in December. And this collaboration is mega cool because behind the scenes of the collaboration, we have a huge surprise for you guys, and I am so excited about it. It is, 
It so Lindsay's okay. even excited really about excited it, guys. Mom, I need a kit. What kind of a kit? When that call comes out, I need. A kit. Oh, Lindsay, you're not supposed to talk that loud. They might have heard that. Lindsay's about to tell secrets here, and she's not allowed to. All right. Teresa's watching with her son Corey again. He's still progressing. Thanks for all the prayers. Oh, that's wonderful, Teresa. That is so exciting. I am so happy. Yeah. So, um, if anybody didn't get a chance to watch Leah's live last week, go out and watch it because she um, shows a star block that has Y seams. And it's the one that I made, and she's testing out all different oh, she quilting patterns. I didn't see that video. She's been pumping those videos out. She has been pumping yeah, them out. She yeah, she really has. I like that her quilting box is a quilt. No, no. What, she doesn't. What yeah. box was it that she, she just had a cloth that she designed mm. go out in one of the monthly subscription boxes. Mm -hmm. It was very cool, and she did a really good like four or five part beginner series on it showing all different quilting. It You're was right, she did. Such a good such a good video set of videos. Yeah, if you guys get a chance, go check out Leah's ones cuz she does where I do most of my quilting on the long arm, she does hers on the domestic. Mm -hmm. And um she shows some really nice tutorials this last week on a block from fabric that she designed and then um, she showed different designs for quilting it, so I that was pretty yeah, exciting. Yeah, she does a bunch. Of, it's really cool. It's a good. Welcome back, Alicia. I take it the four-year-old now has something to drink. Huh? That was good. You did it. We're trying to trying to adjust this. It looks like I'm in the dark here. So yeah, very exciting. So um, that's what's going to happen this week. Oh, did you bring a finished block? I didn't. I'm sorry. Oh, she didn't bring the... I thought about it, but I was just trying to get over here. So, no, you can't really see it. They're you can't see the pieces. blocks? Yeah. Yeah. Lindsay brought me... And next weekend, I'll bring blocks. Okay, she'll bring blocks next weekend. Lindsay brought me fabric that I have to work on. So, here's all my fabric that I got to work on this week. It, it um, got a bunch of different things. Look... Aren't those pretty? She picked this out for me. She said, this is your job, Mom. So, oh, she got the otter in this one. Look. Yeah, I tried to do a little bit of fussy cutting. I mean, cool. not when I cut my strips, but when I did my sub-cutting, I tried to And you did your sub-cutting? Cut okay. That's, I think that's cake, too. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yep. Are you ironing your seams over? Lindsay's friend came over to um, press her seams on a jelly roll quilt. And I'm going to show you what it looks like. Because I'm going to make her bring it to me. <laughs> she made a jelly roll quilt. And it's actually, hope, hopefully your mother doesn't watch this. I don't think she does. Oh, no, good. Oh, wait a minute. First, got to show the baby she's bump. she's in the group. How far Go, is Come on over. Oh, I don't She's, she, she's yeah, having her first so baby. We're she's so got excited. a cute little baby bump going. This is my best friend. <laughs> she got married over the Hi, summer. Everybody. We're having a baby. You're having a baby. We're so we're excited. excited. I like your new shirt. Here's the Thanks. quilt that she made. And it's not all together yet. What she did was she took a jelly roll quilt. Four. And that's two. Well, right now well, I have two jelly rolls and I have two more at home to sew just like this. To make okay. a queen size. So what she's doing is taking it. She's putting it together in probably 16 different pieces. Yeah. And it's going to make a king size or queen size queen. quilt. So isn't that cool? It's all Kate Bassett fabrics. And that's a pattern from Fat Quarter Shop. Yep, Fat Quarter Shop does a lot of these really cool ones. So isn't it neat? Yeah, everybody's saying congratulations. Yeah, we're Thank so you. excited. It is a cute little bump. It is Horrible. a cute, cute bump. I love it. Hi, Faith. <laughs> yep, so here we are. She's got all these. They're absolutely gorgeous, guys. Look at do you remember what Jelly Roll roll it is? Spring 2016. Hmm? Spring 2016. Okay, spring 2016. I hope she shows it to us. Well, it'll be here to get quilted, so. Yeah, yeah. So you guys will see it. We will see <laughs> it. Yep. Yeah. I'll post, so I can more. post pictures after she gives it. Yeah. Or she can post pictures after she gives it to us. Yep. 
there we go. All right, so there's it. She's gonna be ironing behind the scenes here. So if you hear some some noise back there, that's what's going on, okay? Easier to iron than what, what's it? Hi, greetings to all of you. Sorry I didn't get to listen to you last week. I'm now at work. One of my clients passed away last night at the hospital. I'm sorry, Lucky Sinclair. Oh, I'm sorry. She does have an adorable bump. <laughs> yeah, so she's here pressing, and Lindsay's down on the floor doing something. Who knows? I'm soft and stable for those other bags. So last uh, night I sat down and went through all my soft and stable scraps and my big pieces of fabric, and I cut out three bags, and I have fabric ready for two more bags, but I need the... I didn't have big enough pieces of soft and stable because I just get the scraps. Lindsay gets the scraps of the soft and stable and she needs a little bit more. So That's consequently, she's here grabbing some more soft and stable. I have a big I, roll of it and she keeps going off of it. Mom, I promise I will show you her how to do binding. I, right now, I have to stand up and hold, show Jane or something. Guys, you're going to get a little bad. you're going to get a little tutorial behind the scenes. Can Hang on. Fancy. Yep, I'm going to show her something fancy. If you take, you've already started that way, so we're going to finish. Okay. If you Once you've set your seams, so roll it through and oh, set okay. all your seams first because that makes it like nice and, and warm and, and then fuzzy. it'll go easier the other way. It'll go easier the other way. And then what you're going to do is take this and lay it out like this. Mm -hmm. And when you go to press it, what you can do is hold this up a little bit. And then oh, okay. as you do it, what happens, you can pick it up a little bit, and you'll be less likely to have a fold over. Perfect. Okay. My biggest fear is that these didn't sew together very straight. Doesn't well, matter. then you want to make sure you press yeah. it like that. And then see, look. See how nice your seam is there? Well, that looks a lot nicer. See, guys, how nice your seam is now? See, she's got a nice flat seam. Can you see that? Yay, Gertie. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> so now so, for this next row. Go we'll like this. Okay. And then try to keep them all going way. the same way. All right, guys. Sorry about that, but I was watching her. I was watching her so press, and I thought, guy. ooh, we got a problem here. We got to change this. <laughs> yep. The pressing stick. You can use the pressing oh. stick, too, which is on the right behind you over there. Does that make them open? No, <laughs> but no. the pressing stick, I like the most when I do it. Oh, when I press my seams They're open. They're really nice for open. They I tend to not them. use it a whole lot when I press it to one side. I'm I use saying, it when I, I press it open. You use it a lot for open seams. Yeah, I, I use it a lot for open seams. And there was somebody the other day that I heard talking about quilting. Somebody got upset with me because I was pressing my seams open on that Quick Tip Tuesday, oh, which was okay. Was I don't care if people get... but. I told her, um, and I I said, you know, she was having problems with it, and but somebody else told me that oh, the they press, yeah, that they press their seams open and that they haven't had a problem, and they've been sewing longer than me, so well, I, mean, I felt Well, I mean, says that for her, because for free motion quilting, I mean, we're using for free motion, a she, long arm. Yeah. Like, we're not... It's, we're not using our own muscles to do it and stuff. The machine's doing it. But so in Leah Day's most recent tutorial, she says, because she does all of her seams open because she's free motion quilting on a domestic or a smaller machine. Mm -hmm. So I get it. She said that she does a stitch length around 1.6, okay. which is super, super short. Because, I mean, I usually, even when I do open, I 1.8, Yeah, you know. That is a small stitch. So she says she does that so that the threads between don't break when they get punctured. So okay. She says that if you have a shorter stitch length. It doesn't puncture. Okay. I mean, which I personally like my seams to one side or spun if I can. I Like I just, it's not as much work when you're doing your blocks. No, it's not. It's different. Yeah. Um. Yeah, okay, I thought it was Leah, but I wasn't 100% certain. Um, somebody, Lucky Sinclair said, Lindsay, tell your friend that all the best on her two new life experiences, marriage oh, and her unborn. <laughs> yes, we're, Stay we're so safe. excited. Is she coordinate? Did she coordinate that? 
Um, the quilt probably more than likely. Um, I and, just I kind of picked and chose. Like I took I opened the jelly roll and I tried to like some are floral pieces and then some are other like just design pieces. So mm -hmm. I tried to interchange it that way. Okay, I, so she did somewhat lay some, it out. Yeah, a little bit, but not I didn't put too much thought into it. Just a little bit of thought. Yep. <laughs> um let's see, Lindsay's congrats. Um I hear another sewing program. That if you iron so open, use a smaller stitch. Well, that's exactly right. what Lindsay just said, Leah said. So, right. yeah, well, must the, be. The first time I did Layer Cake Love, I didn't shorten my stitch length and my seams were coming apart at all ends. And I had to go and redo them when I was really frustrated. But yeah. that was my fault because I should have shortened my stitch length. It does make a difference. Okay. Um, Gail White said that she gets the sew sampler rock from the Fat Quarter Shop. She oh. said if you get it, you will love the fabric this month. Is that what Leah's? Yes. It I don't. So awesome. It must be. Gail, was Gail that Leah's know. fabric or was that somebody else? No, she, Click on your YouTube channel bell last week to get notifications on new videos, but it still didn't get notified. Um, you may have to go into your device settings and allow YouTube to notify you. Oh, I never thought of that. Sometimes that's the thing. Oh, and also, someone was telling me that their notifications were going to their junk mail folder. Oh, check your, so junk you mail, check your junk mail. Because it might be there. It, she's right. That's weird. Um, it was Tula fabric. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, the, I bet it was gorgeous. I can't wait to show the one I'm working on. Uh, let's see. So somebody else. Grateful asks, do I still get the quilter's box? I don't anymore. I got it full of, for a full year and I really did love it, We're giving all the stuff you but guys know. it it just got to be overwhelming. I couldn't keep up with what I was doing and um and what was being sent to me every month. So I had to um I had to give up something, and I didn't want to give up this, so I had to give up that. So yeah. I wasn't on the junk mail, Becky. Well, that's really good. That does make me feel better. I don't like being in the junk mail. She's got but, um, Donna doesn't have any speakers right now. Donna, I'm sorry. You got to get speakers. She should be able to put um, closed caption on. Oh, close. Oh, yeah. Yeah? Does it work live? I, uh, I don't know. I've never I don't know if it works live. Yeah, the girls are saying maybe try closed caption. I'm not sure. I don't know. I'm not there. I got no clue. I'm not really good with this stuff right now. So, um, I'm changing my email place, the place that I do my emails through. So make certain that you're signed up for my email list because I'm about ready to make a change over. Okay. And I want to make sure I am going to check the issue. Becky, Lindsay's been checking into it every week when it keeps happening. So now we're down to, as long as you've got the bell click, now we're down to in your settings inside of YouTube. There no, might your device inside of your device inside of your device. You have to grant the app permission to send you notifications. You have to grant the app permission to send you notifications. So and if if she was on a computer, it would be in your settings. Okay. It was generally like in the app settings, right, Lynn? Right. So you would go under your system information, like your system settings, because. When you first subscribe, if you deny it to allow it to send you notifications, you have to go into your actual device settings. If it's an Apple, you know, it's the system settings, the gear thing, and go under your apps and then grant the app permission to send you notifications. Okay. Did you guys hear that? I hope you did. Because I, I don't 100% understand it. Probably it. Not. I'm pretty loud. Okay. <laughs> she thinks she's pretty loud, so you could hear it. Um, but Becky, yes, Lindsay will continue to check into that because she's trying to figure out why you guys aren't getting notifications either. I, I could probably schedule to send an email to everybody 
just before I go on. Let me know if you want me to do that. Yeah, the sun came out. Grateful says all of a sudden it's much brighter. The sun came out again. Yes, thanks, Lindsay. Thank you, guys. I can hear Lindsay. Aw, you guys are so good. Yeah. Thank you. My voice carries. Her voice, I guess, does carry. Yeah, quite, I'm yeah. quite loud. She says she's quite loud. I try not to be. Yep, she's a nap. I'm we can always me. tell when a nap's around because we're all loud. You don't need this in TV. Now she's into the thread. Okay. I'm not sure what she's doing. I, well, I have all these projects planned, but I need thread because... I Make need, sure I have more. You have a whole new thing of this, and that bobbin on there is full. Okay. There's two new packages of English Ivy. This is the smallest one. Sorry, very late. Had visitors. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to have visitors here pretty soon. Oh, I'm excited. We're doing... Um, she said, Nancy says, no, you're not, at least compared to me. Oh, good. Wait till the retreat. <laughs> we get all of us, us louder people in the room. Oh my God. An email would be coming? great. Okay, guys, I will schedule for emails to come out. Susie, are you on my email list? If you are on my email list, let me know, and I will do everything I can do to make sure that an email goes out on Sundays saying that I'm going to be live, and I'll send it out about a half an hour. Oh, Jill Domer, thank you so much. Apple product settings, YouTube notifications, allow yeah. notifications. That's the one, Jill. Yay, thank you. About. Jill knows. Crusty old man beard, I do too. I get louder and louder oh and louder the more excited I am. Every time and I listen to the replay, the matter. I'm like, ah. I'm so loud. Oh. I'm like, I'm on the other side of the room, and it sounds like I'm yelling. Oh, but you're not. I know. Yeah. Email list, like the newsletter? Yes, Tressie. Make sure that you're signed up for the newsletter, because I'll start sending out emails beforehand so that you guys all know, because I don't like the fact that you're not getting notifications. <laughs> Top. Why didn't you tell me to make you this top? I love that top. Why did you give me that frumpy schmappy pattern and not give me this Look at pattern. this one. Well, this is make, really cute. I'm going to make you, that for you. You can make this one for me I too. I will. Is Look, that guys. Wovens? Yes, it is. I'm going to make you a really cute shirt out of that. I think it's Wovens. It looks like it. Yes. Light to medium weight woven fabrics. Works great in double gauze, quilting weight cotton, linen, sheeting, chambray, Lawn in cotton sateen. Oh, that would be nice in a chambray or a lawn, but I don't have any of those. Yeah. What I want you to do, though, is I want you to make... Listen to this, guys. This is how good Lindsay's getting. I want you to make three-quarter sleeves because winter's coming. Oh, yeah, that's easy. And I want you to make it a little bit longer because really your mother's a little chunky. I know. I have to figure out, is there such a thing as a flat butt adjustment for patterns? Yes, there is. Because I need a flat butt adjustment. You don't have a flat butt. I do. Well, I love the patterns for pirates All right, patterns. we got to go on to something else. And she for, wants a flat butt adjustment for like notification curvy. for making clothes. We all know Lindsay loves to make clothes. Not a notification, well, an now adjustment. She, she's trying to figure out how well, to adjust. I love these patterns, but I my my butt is like... Two pancake for them. <laughs> They're made for girls with like front, and, like curves on the front, curves on the back, and I'm like only curvy on the sides. I'm like flat uh, on the back. Okay, so if anybody out right. there is a seamstress or sews and knows of an adjustment, please let us know. <laughs> an okay? adjustment for a flat butt. <laughs> okay, let's see. <laughs> Margaret, quick question. What's your thought on piecing batting for a wall hanging? Any tips? Oh, totally. Uh, you day. can do it. Um, Lindsay, would you get the stuff out of the ironing drawer? I will. You tell Karen that the closed captioning should be there on the replay. Just, it should be there on the replay. There on live. Karen, Lindsay thinks it's there on the replay. I doubt it's there on the live because there's not enough to de right, delay. Right, because the computer has to go through it. What okay. am I getting you? The, the batting thing to do, to, to fuse batting together. Oh, this? The, the roll, yep. Okay. I use that for stabilizing too. When I okay, stuff. there's this stuff called 
Nancy Zeman, you need to go to, Lindsay, for that help. Margaret, you have a Taylor's ham? Yes, I do. Why didn't you tell me? I have, yeah. Because you um, know I would take it, like I'm going to right now. Okay, wait a minute. I want you to walk around here and show everybody your arms. Guys, the next time I tell you that <laughs> Lindsay has run off with something, I, <laughs> she's running off with my Taylor hams now. I need these for pressing necklines. Okay. All right. So, anyhow, this is what I suggest for the batting for wall hangings, okay? It's heat and press, and what it, or heat press, what it does is it will fuse your batting pieces together. I now, um, I, I do recommend that when you do it, you do it on both sides. If you don't have heat and press, what I would suggest that you do is just lay it down on a flat surface and whip stitch it with a matching cotton thread. That's all I would be, that's all I would do. That would make it very easy and it would work, okay? And I have pieced batting together on wall hangs. It, I mean, we've all pieced batting together, I think, at one time or another. Just had a call from, aw, uh, Nancy, is it your birthday? Happy birthday. First fabric thread. Now that I know, Tressie, she's like having such a fun day here. At least Lindsay doesn't take stuff when you aren't looking here, does she? I, I don't know yet, because if she did when I wasn't looking, I wasn't looking, so I, mean, I don't no, know. No, I do, I do <laughs> take usually, stuff when you're not looking, but I always rat myself out. She always rats herself I out. I am she terrible always has. at keeping secrets, and I just am like, Mom, yeah. I took these things. I'll I know. Them back. My husband says the same thing, Catherine. They, my husband calls our pantry the um, the local grocery store for the children. Yes. So, believe me, we've been there. We've been there. We've done that. Yeah. I know, Pat. She is lucky to have a mom like me. But, boy, I hope she brings it back because I use it. Now she has gotten one of my buckets off the wall. And she's going to go through it. I just feel like I need to use up every piece of fabric I have. Which isn't a lot the of The other fabric. day, guys, this one, I finally found how to get Lindsay to completely finish stuff. Because she is good about finishing things to a point. I, well, I got to have like a couple going and I finish one. She and says one to me, I decided that I have to finish all of the projects that I have now and then... You will not have a reason to say no to me about buying me then more well, fabric. You have to buy me fabric. She said, "You'll have to buy me fabric because I won't have anything to do." So that's her now logical. Yeah. I mean, this is what I do. I have and no fat quarter. Becky said they are witnesses to the fact that you took things. That's fine. Happy birthday, Nancy! I think that is fantastic. Yes, happy birthday. That is really cool. It is exciting that she likes sewing so much. In in quite honestly, I have tried for years to get oh her to goodness, sew, my and now life. now she just loves it. My whole life, she's yeah. been bugging me and bugging me and bugging me. I about wanted her sewing, to sew forever, and I have always said I do not have the patience. I cannot do it. One day when I am patient, which took a while. Took two kids. Yep, yeah, <laughs> which took two children. Yep. Now I am patient, and I can learn to sew. Uh, no, Alicia, Lindsay's got your beat. She's 33. Uh, Dee Dee is the same age as I. And Dee Dee's 33 too. But Dee Dee's not here today. She couldn't make it today. Um, oh, somebody asked me a while back, email notifications. If you go on, um, if you go on my website, there's a thing to, to sign up for my newsletter if you go on there and you sign up for my newsletter, then you'll get the email notification because we'll start doing that. This is cute. Oh, it is adorable. Why haven't you made that? Look at this, guys. It is adorable. I think I wanted to do it Show in Show Juicy. She wants to see. 
Mm-hmm. Dress to the nines, it's called. Oh, that is it's really like cute. a little fall yep. wall hanging. It's really yep. cute. Hang on, I gotta show you this. Evie is 28. Woo! We oh, got a see, baby. She's here. a baby. Whoops, sorry. Okay, there. Isn't that adorable? Nancy Zeman does have a number of YouTube videos on pattern adjustments. Isn't that cute, guys? I just love this. You can just seam it. Um, I find you've got to do a zigzag, and I just had a harder time always doing it, doing it on the machine for putting batting together, so I tend to do it by hand. I do a whip stip up one side and then a whip stitch down the other side and then it forms like an X. See, a lot of those people, and I've checked out a lot of those pattern adjustment videos and stuff, but I'm working oh, with... Oh, Evie, that's cool. I'm working with knits. She's working with knits. Which most of the pattern adjustments are not, it's not the same as with wovens because you have to calculate the ease. Yes, you do. I have some... Try I've pattern. taken some crafty classes on knits that I paid for that were very, very helpful. Okay, she's taken some classes on crafts. I just think I need to find now different pattern designers. Now you know what designers. to buy her for gifts so that she won't borrow yours. Yeah, I know, but I get forgetting what she's taking on me. The other day in one of the videos, I accused her of taking my... Um, hot hammer. My hot hammer. And she says to me, she says on there, yep, I didn't take it and I get blamed for everything because I'm the closest I one. I said I'm an easy target. She says I'm an easy target. So later on, she's talking to me. I said, Lindsay, where is my hot hammer? She no. says, I don't know, but I got mine. That's my hot hammer. Well, it's then she says to me, are we sharing? And I went, yeah, we're sharing. I didn't know we were yeah. sharing because I use my hot hammer all the time. Debbie Rhodes says that she uses her edge stitching foot to do batting on the machine. Oh, oh that's a good idea. <coughs> what did Karen ask? Bless you. Now, I know. What did Karen, wait a minute, I got to find what Karen asked. Okay. Tula pink fabric, eight fat quarters oh, in this, oh. That fabric is That just was gorgeous. a nice present. Jaina gave her quilt, the baby um, quilt she made out of Tula, out of the new Tula, to her friend yesterday. Who absolutely loved it. She texted oh, me I'm sorry, Lucky about. Sinclair. Did she? Yeah. Yay. She's having a hard time hearing us. Does anyone have a good idea of what they do with leftover sew sampler boxes? I can't seem to throw mine out. That is hard. You could cover them with fabric. Um, let's see what else. Cover them with fabric and then stone, store notions in it. Someone asked about a ruler. Um, thanks Debbie for the edge. To try that. Let us know how it works, Kathy. Who asked about a ruler? I missed that. And Lindsay's so busy going through all my patterns. They were asking about the, if you really need the cat's cradle ruler to make the cat's cradle block. Oh. I've seen it twice now. Oh, well, you didn't tell me that. Well, you were talking. Okay. Um, let's see. No, you do not. And yes, there's enough fabric in the fabric <coughs> requirements for the quilt if you don't <coughs> do it. If you don't have the ruler. Okay? So, yes, you can. Um... I, I haven't done it without the ruler in so long. I could do a tutorial on it, but I'd have to research it first. So, grateful you did make yours without the, without the ruler. I'm assuming that's what you're responding I did. Oh, oh, grateful was the one that asked. I think you can grateful. I just am not 100% certain how you do it. I would think that you would take and so um is mine right there my my block the the entire block oh, where's my block no it's it not in this like pile where it be I will get it for you um it should be close I'm not sure those are four batches um maybe over on the cutting table um, I think what you would do is start out with your square 
Okay. Um, and then... That one's not scary. Okay, you asked, but you found it. This is not... Here you go. What I would start out with is I would start out with your small square. Then I would add two white squares. I would square it up and then add, add your second one. So, yes, you absolutely could do it. Okay? And she said she found a video. I ordered everything for my... No, nope, it's shipping tomorrow, Teresa. All the um, caddies, the catch-all caddies ship tomorrow. Oh, so much stuff. A bunch of stuff is shipping tomorrow. Yeah. All the giveaway prizes are shipping tomorrow. Giveaways are shipping tomorrow. Catch-all caddy is shipping tomorrow. And, Natalie's, and quilt. Natalie's quilt. There were two Natalie's quilts that I was not able to fill only because I didn't have enough material. It will be here on Tuesday. So I'll ship those on Wednesday. And it's um, my mother. I emailed the two people that won't get theirs until Thursday. And one of them's your mom, right? One of them's my mother. Uh, yay, So Grandma. that helps. Yep. But no, they, everything gets shipped tomorrow. Yeah, I'm going to be in love with the post office before the day's over with. Patterns. Yeah. So, well, one of my pattern boxes is being put back. But I'm wondering what she's going for next, guys. I wish you could see what I see. I'm watching Lindsay on my bookcase. Remember my big bookcase that has everything on it? She's standing there trying to figure out what bin she's grabbing next. Oh, there she goes into the quilts bin. I don't want quilts. Oh, she doesn't want, want quilts. I don't have a lot. Of, I only have little pieces so, of fabric. Yep, that's what's going on there. So I want to do easy... Yes, BJ, stuff. you're right. The Cat's Cradle Block is also called Mary's Triangle... And shaded four patch. Is oh, the, I didn't know that. Sherry, you can absolutely do the catch off caddy. So far, I haven't run into anything, and I'm doing tutorials on all the steps, so you shouldn't. You should be able to do it. I Andy's, mean, I don't see why not. Annie's patterns are great. Yeah, I'm really enjoying because that's all I've been doing is Annie patterns, and oh. I really enjoy them. They're pretty easy to follow. Becky, I think I am. I don't know that one for sure, but I think I am. You know, it's really tough because I'm so excited that she is quilting and sewing that it's really difficult to say no. And, and, and we spent a lot of years not being able to say yes to the kids. You should see the look on well, her face, it's, ladies. It's like, let's just, just for some perspective. I, I think get, so, Sherry. <laughs> I don't get paid money for all the work that yeah. I do for mom, which is a lot. I cut all the kits, I maintain the Facebook page, I do all Lindsay kinds of does a for lot her. for me, but she's not a real employee. Right, Instead she tends to get so she, a lot of stuff I out of me. Get gifted fabric and soft and state and things so I can make more projects. Yeah. Which is fine. I'm not looking No. That's she, okay. I'm yeah. happy to be able to help you. But so that's what goes on with that. perspective. It's not like I'm getting away like a bandit. No. <laughs> she has three quilt books that use this block, and I love them. I love that block. I think it's a great one. Hi, Sonia. So pretty. I do too, Arlene. I mean? wish I liked sewing clothes like she does and how easy it seems for her to alter patterns. Yet yeah, she has an eye for it in... in um. And I, it, she really does. She seems to understand that. And what's really cool is her daughter, Lion, um, last weekend she was out here playing in the studio. And she made a shirt. Now, she <laughs> had no pattern. She had n just the fabric. Jane thought, her and, unicorn shirt. What? Yeah, her unicorn shirt. Yeah, her unicorn shirt, she's calling it. And... <laughs> and she could actually put it on. It was a little tight. I mean, but she could. One it had arm holes. It had arm holes. A neck hole. And a a neck hole. Yeah, and, and, it, and, and, it and a hood. And a hood. Yep. So it, she has an eye for it, too, which is really cool. I can't wait to see that. Ah, oh, Marilyn just made it in. Everybody's doing pretty good. I know. I'm really excited, Becky, about the fact that she's she's doing that already. Yep. Northeastern Kentucky. And my daughter's in west, southwestern Kentucky, I think, is where she is. Yep. Well, guys, it's coming. 
to an end. Lindsay is a superstar. She oh, is doing really good. Damn, She's see. getting really good at this. I'm very proud of her. To There's say the been least. a lot of mistakes. <laughs> yeah, there has been a lot of mistakes. It's funny because I always know when she's struggling with something because I won't I won't hear from her. And then and then all of a sudden I start hearing from her again and I know she's been she's right. been working through something I trying am. to get well, it straightened I'm, around. Like, I'm good at like I like to work through things on my own because then I really remember. Oh, baby bibs? Absolutely. We can do one on baby bibs. Oh, those are easy. Can we do the ones with the ribbing? Mm hmm. Though, I mean, not everybody likes those, but they are. I love nice those baby ones. bibs? Yeah, the ones where you take the towel and you. Mm hmm. We don't have to do that one. We can do No, it. we can do that one. one. Yeah. But I like those ones. Those are easy. We should do one with binding too, because it's good binding. Debbie practice. Rhodes? Ah, uh, yeah. I'm going to remember that. I spent a lot of time telling my girls no when they were younger. Now I can say yes. And Debbie, that's kind of the way I feel. I did it so much. But now I can I can say thing, I can say yes. And I love that. My daughter, Tracy, makes the best burp claws around. I will say something to her about it. Tracy makes all sorts of nifty little craft things. Yeah, Sherry, Lindsay does put in a lot of work. She does a lot, and and it really does help me tremendously. She cuts all, if well, close, if not all of the kits. And I cut all the beetle bag kits. She cut all the beetle bag kits. All she cut all of the catch-all kitty kits. So she cuts the fabric for me, and then I put them together here. And it really makes, it helps it to happen, because otherwise it wouldn't. Taking some time off to some designs for myself. Oh, cool. I hope they do too, Lucky. Let us know, okay? Do I have one this color? Yeah. Lindsay is part of the show. Aw, you guys yep. are sweet. You got it. So, okay, guys. I got, I don't know how many people coming for dinner. But I got to get moving because I got to get um, dinner going. Triangle Tricks by Sally Schneider, Scrap Mania by Sally, and Design Quilts by Suzanne. These three books only use the Cat's Cradle Block. That's cool. BJ, would you post that on the Facebook group so that we've all got it, please? Bowling Green. Teresa, I was in Bowling Green. We went to Bowling Green. I could have seen you and I didn't. <gasps> I'm sorry. Oh, that's disappointing. Oh, shoot, bang, boom. Oh, Teresa, we've got to get in touch next time. Um, Lucky, I believe we're talking about the same pins. If we are, they're on my website and yes, I do. If I sold them before, I still do. Mom. Okay. I want to make that My Traveler 2.0 bag. Okay. You know the one I'm talking about? Oh, that's a good idea. Making the bibs bigger for adults. <laughs> oh, yeah. Have a great weekend. We would weekend. have to do ones that attach, not the over that one for adults. Okay. All right. Okay, guys, we are out of here. We will see you next week. Make certain that you sign up for my newsletter, and we will start doing notifications next week um, about a half an hour before I go live, okay? Ooh, stuff I'm going so that with. you can see. Yeah. Okay, guys, she's <laughs> coming to show you the loot she's going home with so that I can, like, be... Oh, cool. This is what she's going home taking with. Taking all of these goodies. Wait a minute. She's got one of my new zippers. I really like that color. And that lunch pail needs a double zipper. Oh, okay. I, mean, I guess it doesn't, <laughs> but. Okay, guys. We'll see you next Sunday. Have a great week. And don't forget, go sign up for the newsletter. See ya.